From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Hello, good evening, and happy Halloween. I'm student meteorologist Ryan Gold from the Campus Weather Service. And those of you who've been enjoying this colder trend we've been seeing in terms of temperature, a little bit of a trick instead of a treat for you this Halloween. We've got above average to average temperatures throughout the state and even here in State College. We also have a sinister Halloween night story for you tonight, as well as a nice end to the week with a sunny and dry cap off to the week and the weekend. Now, in terms of temperatures here across the state, 67 degrees as our high and 55 as our lowest high. Now, this is extremely different than the trend we've been seeing. And here in State College with 61 degrees, our high for this time of year is around 60. So we're now above average in terms of temperature. But now, in terms of precipitation, what can we expect? Well, we do have a frontal system creeping and crawling its way through Pennsylvania this Halloween. We're going to start off here around 6 o'clock is when we're going to see our first glimpse of precipitation. And as we continue on throughout the rest of the front, we have most of the conglomeration of precipitation up in the northwest around Erie. But we do have a little bit of extreme precipitation here in the east around the morning on Friday. And we have a little bit here on the other side of us in State College. But as we continue on throughout, just clouds and a little bit of flaking uh, leftovers from the precipitation around the afternoon on Friday. And that should all be cleared out by the evening on Friday as well. But here's what you all wanted to see, the Halloween forecast. What can we expect for trick-or-treating? Well, you're gonna wanna have your umbrella, but you're not gonna need to bundle up because we're gonna be experiencing a little bit of higher temperatures for a low that we've been seeing for this Halloween night. So you're gonna wanna have your umbrella definitely handy because it's gonna be precipitating on and off throughout the evening with a little bit of cloud breaking to give it a nice spooky feel. So those of you who are gonna be trick-or-treating out late, you're gonna wanna have definitely another pair of costumes if you don't have your umbrella. And those of you who are college students staying out that late, just be sure to be safe and don't slip while you're out there this evening. Now, in terms of tomorrow, you're not going to want to walk off that Halloween, uh, Halloween candy just yet. With 63, it's a nice temperature, but we're still going to be experiencing some showers. So if you like that, go on out, run off, and get rid of some of that Halloween weight. But in terms of the seven-day forecast here, Thursday and Friday, we're going to be experiencing some precipitation, and that's going to be a front moving through, and it's going to bring some colder temperatures, but drier conditions and sunnier for Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday has a chance of showers with more cloudiness. And don't forget to turn off, uh, not to turn off, but to turn back those clocks Saturday into Sunday. And maybe you want to walk off the Halloween candy then. For the Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Ryan Gold.